don't compete with other couples god is writing your own love story don't steal his pen and so anything would you like to add to that about not comparing yourself especially right now on instagram you know people don't post their struggles they only post their highlights they post their best things they take really nice angles of how they look their houses they post the best things about their house they post the smiley faces their marriage can be falling into like i know some couples who are honestly right now living like cats and dogs don't even live in the same house but they still post photos and they still post this really nice quotations on how amazing their marriage is it's just a lot of balonies and so and a lot of people today are having tension in their marriage not because their marriage is struggling it's because they constantly compare it to somebody else's marriage that they don't know who's still struggling yeah, and like we say, comparison kills. It truly does kill, especially for women. If you're comparing, you know, your husband to some man of God, you know, some uh, person that you don't even know, or even person that you do know that is better in certain area at this point of life, you know, that's going to kill your respect for the husband that you should carry. And that is not acceptable. You have to respect your husband honor him and not compare yourself to uh, or compare your man to some other man or man of God. <laughs> and same thing with wives, you know, maybe some wife, she's so gifted in this, she's a preacher, she's this and that. And, uh, you know, I wish that she would be like that. It's going to kill your, kill your relationship. The Bible says we run the race looking unto Jesus, not to another person's marriage. We don't look to the Instagram, we look to Jesus, who is the author and the perfecter of, perfecter of our faith. Uh, in our faith, mm -hmm. in our finances in our fitness and in our family run your own race just because and these two couples they always work out together it doesn't mean that's going to be your situation just because oh they already look at the cars that they drive look at the business that they have that might not be your situation oh look they're both in ministry they're both traveling together listen that's not your story yeah like or, or even uh look uh my husband is not as spiritual that's that's the comment sometimes i mm -hmm. receive what do i do how do i change that like you know what you you don't try to change you know anything about your husband Honor him as he is and trust God, you know, that honor he will him bring higher, higher and he will rise yes, to that level. Yes. Don't mm -hmm. honor him as he is because that's, 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 but if you honor him higher, honor him the man that you want to see and then he will rise to the occasion. By comparing him, he'll never be like somebody else's husband. If you wanted that other husband, you should have married the other husband and stuff. So, but if you got married with and that brother. And also, <laughs> never say or even verbalized such words that i wish you were like that person. oh jesus that is the oh. worst thing you can do oh, to my your God. husband <laughs> no, repent I, I would if i would be you i'd be, I'd be hashtagging right now repent and stuff so yeah if you're saying yeah i wish you could be more like if you say that okay you deserve to be beaten with 49 stripes not uh, 39 stripes and that, that is that's so painful that is so hurtful when you begin to compare you know if I would come into my wife and say you know in the beginning I had the desire before I met my wife is that I wanted to have you know a worship leader a prophetess an intercessor uh, like my grandma 16 children and then so I took all the women that I've seen in the world and I combine the best versions of it and I put it into the one, this one imaginable person you know I didn't of course myself was not like all of the high qualities of what it is to be a man but I just expected her to be like that and I remember before I and got married none of the above <laughs> yeah and then she has to cook like my mom she has to have as many kids as my grandma a heart of mother Teresa the voice of Joyce Meyer the anointing of Catherine Kuhlman and the voice of Carrie Joe you know and uh, and of course the looks of somebody in Hollywood would. and so you combine that and that person doesn't even exist in heaven <laughs> like that doesn't exist nowhere because each person has their strengths and their weaknesses and when I met my wife you know she, she is not um, necessarily a preacher she's not a worship leader she's not an intercessor she loves to pray she's not like my grandma she doesn't have 16 children and on the top of that she doesn't cook like my mom she doesn't enjoy cooking at all and stuff and so and what had to happen is adjusting to the person that you married and understand that um you did not marry her because if i wanted a cook i hire a cook okay i'm not marrying a cook i'm marrying a friend or cook yourself yeah <laughs> take a moment just recap right now oh yeah cook yourself i mean what a revelation huh <laughs> and stuff and so yeah yeah Never mind. Number nine. <laughs> so we get it. Pretty much the whole idea is that, you know, we're not marrying, you know, a worship leader. Uh, you're not marrying a pastor. You're marrying a man that you love, that you respect. Mm -hmm.
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content and this was a blessing to you, would you help us and hit thumbs up so that it could help more people to discover this video. It costs you nothing, but it can go a long way to help with the algorithm. As well as if you're not subscribed to our channel, hit subscribe, click on the bell so that you can be reminded each time that we upload videos. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. If you're interested in learning more about HungryGen, our internship, our conferences, deliverance, and so many other things, go to HungryGen.com for more information. And as always, remember, better is not good enough, the best is yet to come.